Today we're gonna talk about Maya, which is an industry standard software developed for modeling, animation, simulation, and rendering by Alias, and currently it is owned by Autodesk. It is one of the most highly used programs in media and entertainment. Now we're gonna dive into some of the features of Maya and some of its pros and cons that you need to know about if you are a beginner. Before we do that, if you want to learn how to create anime characters, tune materials and shaders, this training is gonna be for you. You'll be learning about cell shading and how to create a stylized anime character with Pencil Plus and Maya, as well as other software such as Substance Painter, Rhizome UV and Photoshop. The instructor of this training is an artist with many years of experience. You will first use Maya for modeling your character, after that, you will use Ryzen UV to generate your UV maps and creating maps in Substance Painter that are specifically for cell shading. You will also learn how to use Pencil Plus to generate all the lines in your character, as well as using Photoshop and After Effects to composite the final animation. So, if you want to learn the workflow of creating a stylized anime character, learn about cell shading and how to use Pencil Plus, Substance Painter and more, you will find the necessary links in the description. In the beginning, Maya was a code-based program used for animation developed by Alias System Corporation. The first Maya version, Maya 1.0, was released in 1998, choosing Mel, Maya Embedded Language, as a scripting language. During its development, Walt Disney Feature Animation requested a customizable interface while working on the production of Dinosaur Animated Film in 2000 which brought more flexibility to the program. It was then acquired later by Autodesk in 2005 under the same name Maya. So Maya is a professional and industry standard program at the same time it is friendly and customizable, which can help you work fast and work with ease to meet your deadlines. It can handle large scenes and create complex projects, and it offers a wide range of tools and options for rigging and animation unlike other programs, which is one of the most important reasons why it is still highly relevant today. Maya is considered to be a full 3D package, however, not all of its tools are used for production. It's not designed to do all the work. We will highlight the most important and powerful aspects of this program, such as modeling. Maya has a series of modeling tools that help you create your 3D objects from scratch. Besides, it has a super friendly and customizable interface where you can navigate through the 3D space with ease and flexibility. There are two types of modeling inside Maya that you can do, which is first polygonal modeling. This type works well with rough edges and hard surface objects. Based on mathematical calculations, this method allows you to modify and edit your objects by manipulating edges, vertices, and faces in the 3D space or in the 3D viewport. There are some great tools for modeling that come with Maya to help you achieve awesome results such as extrude, multi-cut, quick edge loop, custom edges in specific areas, bridge, a pen level, detach and extract, and many other helpful tools that you can find there. You can also use Norbs modeling in Maya. It is the abbreviation of non-uniform rational B splines, which are curves that are shaped by a series of points that can be controlled. Based on mathematical formulas, smooth shapes are perfectly achieved unlike polygonal modeling. This type of modeling is very common in automotive design and it is easy to execute in Maya. Also, in order to animate a 3D character or an object, you will need a skeleton attached to the model and a set of controls and joints that enable the animators to animate. Since rigging is not the fun part, it can be more challenging when dealing with complex models. Luckily, Maya has the right tools for this process. Maya offers you a variety of tools that you can benefit from when creating your skeleton. This in addition to skinning, blend shaping, and controls in addition to other things. Because you can do a lot of things with this program. You don't have to worry about making errors while setting your joints or when you finish with your skeleton. You can easily go back and fix those errors or correct them without messing up your rig. In Maya, you will have all the possibilities to customize a rig. Also, you can transfer the skin weight into another mesh, move joints after the skinning process, and have amazing control over which part you want to deform and how it deforms. When it comes to animation, Maya sits on top. It is the industry standard program that has been used all the time in films, animations, video games, the advertising industry, and visual effects. It's treated as an important platform that has advanced features and tools where professional animators get the best performance when creating their animations. 
Many films and games used Maya for their productions, such as Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, Avengers Infinity War, the Uncharted video game, Call of Duty, and much more. Studios use Maya during their production because of its responsiveness and the quick workflow it has, which is essential for their success. When using Maya, you have a lot of control over your animation and you can isolate a part of motion so that you will not be distracted by any other movement, especially if you have something to correct or improve upon. The editable motion trailer can be very handy when you want to adjust the arc of a particular movement. Shifting and copying keys are easily done on the drop ship of the time slider, whereas on the graph editor, a set of keyframes are scalable with ease if you receive a request from your supervisor to slow down your whole animation by 10% for example, without mentioning the powerful plugins that help you in the process of animation. Maya serves as a ground where impressive animations are created. It will push your creativity forward with the possibilities it offers, but to be honest, sometimes it can be a little bit intimidating. Maya is also powerful when it comes to shading and rendering, especially if you want to achieve a realistic looking project because it has a variety of shaders to define visual properties for a particular object. By default, it comes with materials like Blend, Fong, Lambert, Anisotropic, and Toon shaders. Depending on your type of the model, you will need different materials. You can assign one of these materials to your objects to give it a particular appearance by adjusting attributes such as reflection, specularity, transparency, metalness, bump, etc. And you can do that from the attribute editor or the hypershade window. Rendering is also interesting in Maya. Since version 17, Arnold was integrated into the program. It is a ray tracing engine. It is widely used in professional settings and studios. It comes with handy tools that enable you to bring your 3D scenes to life and it allows you to make changes while doing real-time rendering. Other rendering engines are also available to purchase and install with Maya, such as Redshift, Maxwell, V-Ray, and so on. Maya is also good when it comes to dynamics and simulations, which refers to how objects move and interact with each other in 3D space. They mimic the way things move in real life, such as water, fire, hair, and cloth, which takes a lot of time if the animator creates it using frames, or the process of keyframing. Maya offers you interesting tools such as in-hair, and particle, and cloth, etc., as well as soft and rigid body tools to make amazing results with simulations and dynamics and integrate them into your animated scenes. When it comes to grooming, XGen is a great plugin that comes with Maya by default. It is used in Walt Disney and many other large studios. It generates curves or custom geometry across the surface and allows the user to manipulate the curves using intuitive tools such as grooming brushing, modifiers, and expressions. So to sum it up, we're gonna cover some pros and cons about Maya. The first thing when it comes to pros is that it is industry standard. Also, it is probably the best animation program ever. It has a friendly user interface, it can handle heavy scenes, and it has a lot of scripts and plugins that can help you do anything you want. When it comes to the cons, it is expensive. Sometimes it gets buggy and crashes. Also, like other programs, it needs a very powerful PC to run smoothly. In addition, it has kind of a steep learning curve. And finally, it has fewer updates compared to a software such as Blender. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.